these are the guys who helped win it for us against the Nazis. The war was over. The year was 1946, and my grandpa Bob was finally back home. Bob had come home from the service. He had been in the Pearl Harbor and in the service for four years, and I hadn't really seen him, so. So, like many young post-World War II couples did, my grandma Rita and grandpa Bob got married. It turned out to be on a Tuesday, the 18th of June, a very eventful day. There's a picture of him washing your hair. Was that your wedding well, day? Well, that was the day before, because did, we didn't have a beauty shop in the town, you know, so I did my own hair, and uh, he washed it for me, yes. He washed it for you. <laughs> Things are different. Grandma tells me her wedding cost a whopping $100. She threw the party at her house with friends and family, borrowed a wedding dress, and even served homemade wine to her guests. One tradition that has since faded from the greatest generation, a celebratory tradition with your guests known as chivalry. Well, they literally take pots and pans and they just make a lot of sounds and it's supposedly like a, a way of celebrating your marriage. It was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was all in good fun, and the couple was eventually allowed to, <clears throat> well, you know. Fast forward 11 kids later, nine of them girls, one of those girls, my mom, who married my dad in 1980. I got my dress at uh, Grand Addictions on Grand Avenue. It was uh, 100 years old when I bought it for $85. My mom actually shares the same wedding date as her sister, a two-for-one, if you will. With around 200 wedding guests, the price tag roughly $6,000. And your dad was so proud taking them down the aisle. Although some traditions may change within a family over time, the memories last for generations. <laughs>